Hm. What? Oh, I was gonna say that bugger better go down. Now I know I just ruined it, but I really, I just wanted to look at it. Oh, first shot would have done it probably. Second shot might have done it. Third shot might have done it. Not too shabby. Looks like what I hit with my truck last year. Wow. None of those rounds went, well, no, actually they touched the liver. So technically I'd have been fine if I had not taken the third shot. Ooh, very shiny, shiny Havelina. 852 cash, not bad for a female. Well, looks like we're leaving it here, bud. Only because I'm not, I think I have to get all the way over there to the water. And I am not sure I trust the ATV to haul me through here without running me into stuff. There should be a pile of rocks there. Line up the gabions first, then fill them. Yeah, it might be a little hard to move once you once you put into rocks in them, huh? Because enough, no? No? Well, the important thing is that they work. As many as you can into each of them. Something nice and for winter. It's gonna take some time to see the effect of all this, but it's good work you're doing. Believe me, I'm grateful for the extra set of hands. I have one final task for you before you are free to go off on your own. Most of our outposts are former stockmen's residences. It gives them a bit of rustic charm, you know? Back in the old days, entire families worked the land here. Men, women, and children. We still had a couple of people on staff when I was born. But then beef prices tanked and my parents couldn't afford the expense anymore. Us kids had to pick up the slack. Anyway, there's a stockman's residence kind of in the middle of nowhere, even by the standards of this place, that had fallen into disuse. We've given it a paint job and replaced some of the furniture. Now all that's needed to officially establish it as an outpost is a notice board. Head over and set it up. Oh, that's actually kind of convenient because I was already headed this direction because I saw it on the way down. There's the notice board. Grab that shovel too. Oh, I'm sorry, what? Where? Over here? Oh. Clear me the rocks first, just over there where the path begins. Gosh, bet you're glad you're not doing this in July. What's that? I... Gene, is that some sort of save for a logbook? Let, let me see. Huh. It's a brass lock and handle, a keyhole. This is not new. Eh? Could be early 20th century. I feel like I recognize it from somewhere. I, I've got it. There used to be a logbox like this in the Casa Grande's master bedroom. My mom wouldn't like you snooping around, but this feels important. Can you head back over there and see if you can find the key? It just if you're up for it, of course. <laughs> this isn't part of your job description. Oh, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Finish up here first. Looks good. And feel free to use this outpost yourself now. If you're in the neighborhood, I'd appreciate it if you could swing by the Casa Grande. I guess my curiosity's got the better of me. I think Wilford got stuck. I hear footsteps. Wilford, come on, bud. Come on. Yeah, come on. You've been stuck there this whole time. All right, and again, I guess we're headed back to the starting point now that we're halfway across the map. Yay! The master bedroom's upstairs. He always did appreciate his privacy, my great-grandfather. That room and the study were like his own personal oasis. Right, let me think. Some uh, plausible deniability would be good for when my mom finally shows up, so let's not just start rifling through things. Lockbox I remember was sitting on a shelf next to a wardrobe. Is that the key? We sure looks well used. Let's try it. A, ver, it's a, a disassembled shotgun. Pump action looks like. Also early 20th century. Are those flecks of blood on the stock? It would make sense if it belonged to Don Javier. He did sleep in here for most of his life, but I don't recognize it. Look, uh, I don't know how things are done where you're from, but I'd rather not get the police involved with this. Whatever happened clearly happened a long time ago, and 
They've got more to worry about out here in the borderlands. Plus, my family has a somewhat complicated history with them. So, let's try to solve this ourselves. Let me think. I'm no Sherlock Holmes, but maybe we should check it for clues. All right, where I come from, someone asks you to pick up a gun with blood on it. You don't. Sounds like a setup. But seeing as it's a video game, why not? R.S. Bosque Alto, Agosto de 1916. R.S. Bosque Alto, August 1916. Bosque Alto is a site to the east of here, the woods up in the hills. But the initials, R.S. 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 I'm stumped. How about you leave the gun here for now and I'll have someone from the lab we usually work with for animal samples check the blood. I really doubt there's any intact DNA left, if it's as old as that engraving suggests, but it doesn't hurt to check. I'll keep you up to date. I'm not aware of any buildings up around Bosque Alto, or at least not any intact ones. The thing I know someone whose entire job involves tracking things down, and this time you don't need to worry about anything running off on you. I'll mark the rough location on your hunter mate, and you can put those transferable skills to the test. Chances are we won't find anything, but I won't rest easy until we've at least checked. Okay. All right, Wilfred, looks like we got ourselves another adventure. This is the place. Find some high ground and do some scouting. High ground and do some scouting. Well, the lookout tower would be an obvious choice, but there also is a peak right around here. Um, yeah, why not? No luck yet? There's a lookout tower nearby that'll give you a good view out onto Bosque Alto. I'll send you the coordinates. Really? So I did need to go to lookout tower? Which is now all the way over there? Of course. There, by the lake. A shack. Well, that narrows it down. What do you mean? There, by the lake, a shack. Where? Over there. I was supposed to be... What? I just see no shack. Okay, supposedly there's a shack over there, and what's more frustrating, I would have gotten there eventually. I was already halfway around the lake on the other side. Ah, Wilfred, you're getting your exercise today. Come on, buddy. Apparently we gotta go this way now. What? I was tabbed out. God, the new deer sounds. Now it's not just the pronghorn that scare me. Like, if you didn't know that was a deer, like, if you never heard a deer before, you would not feel... Like you're in a safe place after this, I imagine. That's pretty. Well. Um, yeah, I mean, it looks sturdy enough. Someone must have rested here at some stage, but there's nothing to suggest they bunkered down. Try the desk there. Hmm. So who's that rocking the handlebar and the sombrero? What a thing to find out in the middle of nowhere. I'm amazed it's not completely faded. So, I'm pretty sure the guy on the right is Bisabuelo Javier. Even without the head, the suit's a dead giveaway. And his younger friend must be RRS. The date isn't too far off the one in the shotgun, at least. This is weirdly familiar. I feel like I've seen him somewhere before. Let's go back to the Casa Grande. There's a century's worth of old photos and newspaper clippings in Javier's study. Maybe we'll find something that jogs my memory. The landform looks like the one around where they used to water the cattle back when open grazing was still practiced. It's along the Arroyo, but I'm not sure where exactly, and I don't recognize the shrine. Take the photo with you and we can try matching it to your surroundings. Wait, so am I going back to the- Oh, by the way, I got a call from the lab while you were wandering around Bosque Alto. As I suspected, the blood samples didn't turn up any DNA. Ah, it was always going to be a long shot, if you'll forgive the pun. Anyway, I sent the shotgun itself to a gunsmith to retrofit and reassemble. I want you to have it. You didn't have to go out of your way to help solve this mystery that has nothing to do with you. But you stepped up. I know, I know, it's a bit macabre to use a dead man's weapon, but, uh... Look... We're conservationists. Ways not, want not should guide us. I doubt R.S. would mind whoever he was. Unless you'd rather it ended up in a museum. <laughs> Didn't think so. 
I've asked my cousin to leave it at an outpost I'll mark on your hunter mate. Okay, so now I'm going back to this outpost. Wait. Oh, and now I'm going to find... Gotcha. Okay. So, even though they sent me over here and I already seen the truck and everything, now I got to go back and discover the truck. Oh, we're running out of daylight, bud. We got to get a, get a move on. Oh, shotgun's actually inside. I hope it serves you better than it did RS. I've got some more news while I have your ear. Remember those gringo intruders I told you about? Well, my cousin's just texted me. She spotted their pickup truck again on her way home. Actually, not far from the outpost you're at now. But no sign of the intruders themselves. Do me a favor. Head out and jot down their license plate number. And if you do see them, probably best to just turn back. Who knows what they're packing? Okay, so I have the ranchero. I need to pull you. Thank God I spent 45 grand on that just to get, uh, well, to kill one bird with it. Yep, it really just kind of looks like a more beaten up version than the one I already had. All right. You really need, like, a weapon inspection thing. I really hope they at least turned off the engine when they went hunting in this thing. And that's the crappiest shooting range I've ever seen. What does the plate say? It says, pick me up, I've fallen. Baden. Texas Lone Star State. <laughs> oh, God. It seems to fire a little slow. I'm gonna turn this back off. See if it's just my timing. Not too shabby. Now for those of us who weren't paying attention, I'm supposed to, oh, I'm supposed to go back to the main house. All right. Well, we've made enough of a mess, right? Do I need to pick this up at all or am I just gonna leave this here? Guess I'm just gonna leave that there. Mm. No front plate. That's a ticket waiting to happen. And actually, that reminds me. I think I need to do the registration on my truck, too. Uh, so many places to hide something. Uh, take it one by one, and we'll see if anything jumps out. God, I hope nothing jumps out. Wait, what is that? Is that a miniature from... Oh, come on, get here. That's a miniature from the set. Which one am I going in? All right. <laughs> See, we got company. That'll be Josh. Jesus and Christ! Ha! <laughs> <laughs> These trolls. They're a good deal less scary in miniature, no? A couple of family members were in New Zealand around the time they filmed the first movie. <laughs> mm-hmm. Of course they were. A souvenir from my great grandparents' trip to Germany. <laughs> my bisabuela was a surprisingly mean shot. <laughs> I'm still amazed they got these plates over in one piece. <laughs> Bisabuelo Javier was a big travel buff. He, uh, uh, he used to steal all the towels from the hotel rooms we stayed in. He'd be like, it's covered by the room fee. <laughs> he was a good man, yeah, a bit eccentric, but uh, it was part of his charm. Hmm. I feel like I've missed something. Uh, of course, stand on the boxes. What does that say? Fishes and Wives, A Fisherman's Tale by Mark Markison? Oh, of course. This is more like it. Let me take a look. Oh. Soto son missing. Raul Soto. R.S. From October 1916. Okay. Now what? So wait, what am I supposed to be doing? I'm still supposed to be here. Okay, so now I, I read this, but now I'm done in here? Yeah, it's not giving me the option to look at anything else, so... I'll 
switch to this and... Or, yeah, I guess. Raul the Revolutionary. See if we can find anything to solve the mystery in the Haciana study room. There must be a century's worth of old papers and newspaper clippings. Look for evidence of who the young man... Yeah, we found that. So now I'm guessing I need to go here and figure something else out, which is up there. This is around where I think the area in the photo might be. You're gonna have to do some scouting again. Here's the arroyo, or, well, what's left of it. It's dry almost year-round these days. Almost hard to imagine they used to be able to graze cattle here. Keep your eyes peeled for the shrine and the curve of the hill behind it. Let's try following it north. Okay. I'm crossing my fingers that this will help kick the other one back into gear, maybe. So, do I actually need to look at, um... Oh, boy. Well, the problem is here is I don't have... It just gave me the clipping. I don't think I have the photo. Oh, unless I'm an idiot. No. So I don't have the photo item. So, yeah, we'll just try and figure it out by going for it. Wait, I'm an idiot. There's the photo I'm looking for. There's a lookout tower right up there in the background. So where are their lookout towers? There's one over there. Shadow being cast by the cactus tells me that that's either straight east or straight west. Because the sun's right up here. So it, it must be this little highlighted spot under the... That's that javelina again. Fantastic job on the sound. Wait, I'm an idiot. There's a lookout tower right there to the right. So it is dead ahead of me. That's the bend. I should be walking right up on it. So that shot was taken in the morning and the sun was east. The heck was that? I need to head up here. I can't see. Oh, Ooh. look at them. I don't think any of them are going to stop. So that's what I was hearing. I thought that was sheep. That's, that's like their snort. Okay. All right. There's the tower. Is that the correct tower? Oh, there's a whole family behind me. Look at that. Whole group of them. Oh, and there's more up there. Oh, my lord. This is the place to go for the uh, javelina or the peccary. Uh, the question is, where is this shrine? There it is. Yeah, I was just looking because I was looking at the position of the tower. There it is. Cool. Found it. This looks familiar. It should. The shrine's over here. God, that is one heck of a view, though. Yeah, yeah, okay, I'm moving. I'm moving. They're telling me to get going. Yeah, yes. Working on it. Unless someone's following me. That's also a possibility. It can be pretty territorial. Over on that hill. That's definitely it. 100 years of dust storms and summer monsoons have changed it surprisingly little, I have to say. A ver. Let's take a look around. Not superstitious, but this place is giving me an odd feeling. This frame doesn't look all that old. Let me try to translate. Uh, someone plunged a knife deep in my side. Did he know why? I don't know why. Maybe he knew. I never knew. Ay, Dios. I recognize this. Let me think. That novel about the revolution. Los de abajo, the underdogs. It was Javier's favorite. This looks like it's been torn straight out of it. And the frame was probably placed here a lot more recently than the grave marker was erected. He wanted us to find this. Maybe there's a clue in the book itself. In the book. So now I need to go back to the... So did I just do things out of order? So now I have to go back to the study. Oh, oh boy. Getting my exercise today, aren't I? Come on. Gotta get racking and rolling again. Hey, there's an outpost right here. I might as well grab that, right? And yes, I keep taking shots like this because that might become a desktop background. 